all this palm angel stuff all returns what does that mean what does it mean when you see so many returns like this quality drops are just ridiculous and the price increases that follow them up it's really not good so to be honest with you for me personally i don't have anything personal against palm angels but that's a brand that has totally fallen off for me what is going on people welcome back to another video with myself hoxton so listen guys last week i was over in shirebrook which is just north of nottingham in the derbyshire area not too far from mansfield so it's my first time coming here and the reason why i came down here is because quite a lot of followers were telling me about this outlet which is over in shirebrook so i thought i need to get down there and check it out now funny thing is when i was asking people in the area about shirebrook they were telling me that it's one of the most dangerous places apparently in in Derbyshire which I thought was <laughs> quite funny I don't know why I thought that was funny but this whole retail park area that I was in in Shiresbrook as you can see there's a flannels there was a USC and as I got closer not too far from the station I found the outlet which is here and you can see already that there is a brand max now that's where the outlet is and you can see where it says factory outlet that is within the brand max and you can also see that there's a USC and there is a, a Jack, Jack Jones. All of these brands smelt to me of Fraser Group. Now, if you don't know, Fraser Group actually own quite a lot of retail parks up and down the country. And I had a feeling that Fraser Group owns this one. But I, I, I didn't go in to find any information about that. But before I get into that, let me get into exactly why we're here. So look, now I'm inside the Brown Max and I was walking around and I saw lots of different things in here. It almost reminded me, me a little bit like a TK Max. Almost. This place was absolutely massive. Lots of stuff in here. Now, what the fellows were telling me is there's actually quite a lot of designer bits in here, which is located upstairs on the top floor. So shortly, I'm going to make my way there. But downstairs, it was just tons of trainers, shorts, shoes, sportswear, all sorts. And the prices. The prices were a funny one because they were a little bit mixed. There were some deals in there and there was some stuff which was clearly to me not really a deal. So I think this place has a big confusion because it's not very well known outside of the area. So for example, in London or south, south of, the, of the UK, not a lot of people would know about this place, but more close and local to the area, people would have known about this place. Now that's sofa.com, which was bought out by Fraser Group, so it's no surprise to see them in here as well. It seems like Mike Ashley has a thing about buying up these stores, buying up all these different um, ex, ex independents and all these stores, and when they go bust, all the items are now seemingly ending up in random places across the country and this seems to be one of them. Now one of the things I noticed online is quite a few of the followers were saying that it's a mixed bag, some people saying it's really good, there's really good deals, some people saying it's awful, that there's no good deals in there and everything was damaged. These Balenciagas and these Burberries, by the way, they are returned. This is a returns outlet, it seems. So some of the stuff in here was actually damaged or quite badly used. So I would definitely suggest checking all the items before you make a purchase. Now, I did see some stuff in here that apparently was returns and they look absolutely fine, but I also did come across some stuff which was clearly clearly used and in a bad condition this brand here Autry does some really nice um, trainers by the way and although the bottom of the shoes looks used it's not that's just the way that it's been designed so it's got this kind of uh, uh, what, what would I say kind of like a rustic if you want to call, call it aesthetic so they're meant to be like that but look I found these Gucci um, sandals at the bottom and they were in a really really bad condition i can't imagine why anyone would want to purchase those and the prices were still quite high so yeah real mixed bag in here guys real mixed bag so as i was looking around i also found some valentino rock studs as you can see here but look at the bottom of these these have clearly been used I mean, I don't know, man. They don't even bother wiping the bottoms of them. Uh, sorry, but I, I couldn't personally go for returns. I mean, I could go for returns that had minimal use, but some of the stuff I saw in here looked pretty badly used. So I went over to the clothing section where I did find quite a few brands. I found this CP Company top, which was, how much was that? That was 150. Uh, you know, I kind of feel like it's just okay. I saw this Palm Angels, which was quite badly used. Uh, you know, there's quite a lot of marks around the corner and the 
the um, print work on the neck had gone. I saw this Moschino, which looked brand new. That one was £40. So again, it, it was one of those ones where it was just going through all the items and having a look. We saw some essentials there that were £50 which I think they're, what, are they usually 65 or 70, something like that? Really weird outlet, this one, but for sure you would find some gems in here. Like, okay, they had this Paul Smith. Not sure the pricing on that one, but that one looked new. I also came across some Neiman in there. I saw Paul and Shark. I saw Paul Smith. Here, some Stone Island I saw in there as well. So that one was uh, down to 150, you know, but you can see there was a little stain and a little mark in there. So if you've got the time to wash it and clean it, I don't know. I feel like the prices should be a little bit lower. And also, look. Look at all this stuff. This is all this Palm Angels jackets. Look how many Palm Angels jackets. And look at the fault that's happening on the side of the jacket. So basically, you can see the peel. The, um, the logo uh, graphic work was peeling off. And I found this on loads and just, lo mate, there was about 50 of these Palm Angel jackets. And when I spoke to some of the staff there, and even I managed to bump into some followers there as well, which was really cool. Imagine all the way up in, <laughs> all the way up in Shirebrook, I even managed to bump into some followers. But look, look at these jackets, man. Awful, so much fault. So here's one of the followers that I bumped in. He managed to find this CP company jacket, but there was a fault on it. I was a bit disappointed for him, but he said, look, he doesn't feel too bad. He's gonna go and get it um, repaired. Let's hear the conversation. Oh. I the whole value of that one. It's just such a, I mean, yeah, you can get it repaired, but I know to get a, pro, a, pro, a professional pin, pin repair, it's quite respectable, isn't it? So big shout out to that follower. He said he'd actually been following for quite some time, so it was really cool to bump into him. But look, more footwear stuff. So I noticed some Balenciaga. That, not sure who's still buying Balenciaga, to be fair. Also saw some Givenchy. And there we can see some Balenciaga again, these Balenciaga runners. Yeah, they were not really in a good, in a good, good condition. Got some of the Nikes there as well. Um, again, it's, it was really a matter of looking around and seeing if there was any issues. Like those shoes, those Brogue shoes, they were looking, they were looking fine, no problems at all. As well as these ones as well. All these trainers look fine. I mean, they're Michael Kors. I'm, I'm not really into Michael Kors myself. But the condition of those ones looked, looked really good. All these uh, Moschino tops, £40. They were all brand new. Didn't seem to have any problems with them, just on the clearance. This was on the other side a little bit. This was called the... Uh, this is the actual factory outlet and it's a luxury clearance. I mean, even the way that everything's done with all the signs and everything, just kind of very simple and just kind of pack them high, sell them cheap type <laughs> ethos is very, very sports direct um, style, to be honest with you. But here we had lots of Valentinos, man. And I'm sorry, but these prices are, are just really, really high. 300, are people still buying Valentinos? I don't know, but anyway, all I saw as well, I saw some CP Company. There's also this, um, here, I've got more Lanvin stuff. They seem to have quite a lot of Lanvin there, to be honest. More Valentino here as well, but again, these types of prices, 350 for this sweatshirt. Personally, I just think that's way too much, but to be seeing so much Valentino here obviously shows that this brand, for me, is not doing, it's not doing very well. A lot of these high-end brands at the moment are not doing well. The shelf life of these brands is not lasting very long at all. Fashion has changed so much. One minute, a brand can be super hot. I remember when Valentino was super hot about three, four years ago, or just before the pandemic, and then now it just seems that it's all being stacked up high on these kind of outlets and in the sales. And I'll be honest with you, I can't really feel sorry for these guys. Their price points on some of this stuff is absolutely ridiculous. Um, so even here, I managed to bump into another follower as well, but he didn't want to be on camera, so I took him off. But a big shout out to him because we had a good old chat and we were chatting for about a good half an hour or 20 minutes, which was, which was really nice. And here we've got some D squared icon. Again, another one. These The icon just fell off so quick. And this is not me trying to be rude or trying to be horrible. I'm just saying, because we have the Facebook group, which I recommend that you guys follow. I'm able to see what people like and don't like. I remember over the pandemic when people were really, really enjoying the D squared hats, the icon hats, the icon um, sweaters, the icon hoodies, the shorts, all of that. And now 
mate, if anyone tries to put on the D squared icon in the Facebook group, people are not interested. They're saying, oh, it's fallen off, it's no good. So what that tells me is all this designer stuff, it really is um, so fickle, man, especially nowadays, and especially with these price points, people don't really have much brand loyalty, and they will just jump around these brands until they get bored, and then a new one comes along. That's just my opinion from what I see from the market, which is why nowadays I don't really invest too much into brands unless it's in sales or outlet like the, like these. I, I, you will not really catch me paying RRP. It's just not something that I'm interested in doing, and it's something that I haven't done in a very, very, very long time. And I saw some stuff which to me I thought was a bit too much. Like that one for 200, that CP company top, I thought that was not too bad. These squared, these R's had lots of stuff. But after speaking to a staff member who actually had turned out to be a fan of the channel and had been following me for a very long time, he gave me the breakdown and was telling me that um, it, it can be hit and miss. You've got to look out for days, for example, the holiday seasons, you know, stuff like Christmas. He said the Easter holiday apparently was absolutely crazy. Um, a couple, he was also telling me that he was he found some Montclair jackets for like 80, 100 pounds, all this type of stuff. So apparently at the right time, this place is crazy. But if you're going down there and there's nothing much going on, there's no deliveries, you might be unimpressed and you'd be thinking this is the, that this place offers absolutely nothing, which is not, not true. It's like most of these outlets. It all depends on timing. So I guess one of the things that you could do is give them a call, find out when the next delivery date is, find out when their next promotional uh, period is coming up and maybe try and time your trip if you're thinking of heading down there. I also noticed that they had some kids wear trainers as well. So they had all this kind of bow main look Burberry uh, Balenciaga not really quite sure who's still buying Balenciaga but you know each to their own but they had quite a few of those as well also here you can see lots of boots for women mate there was tons of stuff here kiddies trainers uh, for the Gucci mate <laughs> so anyway as I was walking around I saw sofa.com who was also purchased by a Fraser group I can't remember when but as I said there's a trend for them to now put this stuff with in the stores and it saves them of having to go out and get more retail uh, units when they can just put it in one of their existing stores existing stores and this is the same thing they've done when they bought out USC they put those in the existing sports directs it's the same thing that they've done when they bought out um, game now you will find game also inside some of the sports directs and now you can see with this sofa.com they're putting them in the bigger outlets as well now this ice cream top that i saw here this was actually really really nice i really like this i'm really into this kind of vintage type of throwback type aesthetic at the moment so that was quite nice and i think it was 40 pounds the only problem is i did try it on and even though it was a size large it was it was quite small so I didn't bother going for it. Look, look at all these R's, guys. Look at all of these R's. Tons and tons of stuff. I think if you're local, you would probably know about this store. But I think if you're coming from London or the South or for like Berman or, or something, again, if you just don't mind going out for a day trip, I took the train from London. It took about an hour and a half. To be honest with you, it was a really fun trip. The people up north are so much more friendlier, in my opinion, than the people in South. Oh, by the way, look at this Neiman jacket that I found. So I found this Neiman jacket, which is a really cool brand. So if you're into Stone Island CP Company, Neiman is something to definitely check out. But look, found some APC. I think that, how much was that? Oh, Mr. Price. I think it was like 70 or something like that. But if you had the time to literally sift through all of this, you were going to be finding deals. There you go. That was some... Um, Fear of God Essentials, Bell Staff with a hole in it. I mean, I don't know, 80 pounds with the hole? I, I, I just thought that was ridiculous. Even if you repaired that, it would just look like a stitch. I mean, that's like 20 quid, mate. That's like 20 quid, 25 quid tops. But yeah, they had a few Bell Staff pieces, which was, which was quite cool to see. Um, so many different types of brands. Look, Essentials up in there as well. Crazy, guys, crazy. What I thought was really interesting is all this Palm Angel stuff, all returns. What does that mean? What does it mean when you see so many returns like this? And look, if you look carefully, I noticed the faults of the peeling. What does this mean? So essentially what happens is if a retailer sells, let's say, for example, they sell this Palm Angels, they sell it onto a customer, customers start selling, um, seeing faults like this, which is clearly a manufacturing's fault. 
it gets sent back to the retailer and the retailer sends it back to Mon um, Palm Angels. Palm Angels refund the retailer and the retailer can offer the customer an exchange. What that says to me is that jacket has a massive, massive fall and that jacket I'm sure was worth around seven, 800, which is a lot of money for it to develop a fall. I'm sorry guys, but a lot of this designer stuff now, the quality drops are just ridiculous, man. And the price increases that follow them up, it's really not good. So to be honest with you, for me personally, I don't have anything personal against Palm Angels, but that's a brand that has totally fallen off for me. My opinion doesn't mean anything. People can buy and do what they want, but that's just my personal opinion that I wouldn't personally buy any Palm Angels or anything like that. Now, moving along, I saw another um, item here from CP Company. It was the um, sweatshirt where the badge where the you know where the lens usually goes had a big hole i mean i don't know who's buying that stuff unless you know you're good at repairing it or you've got a, like, like a nan that can repair this for you and make it look slick then fair enough but even if that's the case i mean this one for 150 pounds I, I thought it was i thought it was too much personally but anyway that's just that's just my own personal opinion if you want to come down to shirebrook and you're local then it's fine if it's within a half an hour or hour drive maybe it might be worth the drive but if you're coming for a bit further you probably want to go ahead and time this with a delivery by contacting the member of staff personally if i was local to here i'd probably be going here all the time trying to see what deals i can find or if there's anything worth having a look at then i think if you're close it's cool but overall i still did think it was a good place to go and check out if you're looking for some good steals i would say if you go there just make sure that you're double checking the items to make sure that there's no additional fault because i believe a lot of the stuff here you cannot return it okay so listen guys i'll be doing more outlet vids out like this if you are someone that knows about some deals some outlets something to share with the followers please leave it in the comments box below and i'll make sure to get back to you and we can see if we can make that content happen okay peace